Yes, good evening and welcome to the 7 of 7, the Drink Bag Game Show that explores the liberated minds of our guests. Welcome to the Drink Bag Game Show. We would like to warn viewers, isn't your grandma's Wednesday night telenovela? Oh no, we're serving up a cocktail of wheat, wickedness, and enough alcohol to drown a crank in and our guests. With any luck, their liver survive long enough to let them tell the tale. So let's dive at first into the intoxicating chaos that is the seven of seven. Just remember when life ends your lemons, make a gin and tonic. My name is OJ and you are watching the seven of seven. Yes, hotter than a Lagos summer and more mysterious than the traffic jams on Third Milan Bridge, hailing from the illustrious halls of the University of Lagos, she's not just a fashion icon and designer, she's the blueprint for slaying in every corner of the globe, and I meant every single corner of the globe. With a diastema so stunning, it could charm the pants of a python, I guess master the art of seduction when she snagged herself one of Nollywood's finest young bucks as a husband. Nigeria's premier travel blogger, along with her husband, I guess has proven she's more than just a pretty face and a killer fashionista. She's proven the naysayers wrong after they initially tagged her show fetish. Hey, who are we to judge? So grab your cocktails and brace yourself because tonight's guest is about to take us on a journey through the fabulous, the mysterious, and the downright adventurous tracks of our life. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Ineka. Isaac Moses, one half of Go Gay Africa. Go Gay Africa. <laughs> Welcome to the show. Thank you for joining us right here. <clears throat> Are you ready? I'm ready. Do you have palm wine on the menu? Ah, we should have thought about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, but now we'll just make do with this. <laughs> Thank you for joining us once again. The rule right here on the show remains that you ask a total of seven questions. Okay. And all throughout the duration of this session, all questions must be from the travel African life of Ineka Isaac Moses category. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. I will attempt okay. to answer all of your questions while firing back with mine. Oh. And for each question we do not get correctly, we'll be taking one shot. Hmm. I didn't know you'd be asking me questions. Eh. Mm -hmm. The only idea is to get you drunk. Should I not bother to ask you so that you will just be drinking? <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to drink tonight? Okay, what do we have here? It's not palm wine. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's something wine. It's something wine. Right. What about this one? It's something wine too. Okay, let me stop whining. Do you <laughs> give me? <laughs> do you want a mixture of both or you just? No, don't worry. Food? Let me start with the one Sorry. close to me. It's dark enough. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, let's talk about where, where did this dream come from? How did it start? Hmm. Traveling. This dream started from that guy that I snatched from Hollywood. Or, hmm. No, not Hollywood, not Hollywood. No, yeah. Hello, John. Now I joined. We are getting there. Yeah, but I mean, we are bigger than Hollywood. Yeah. Nollywood is it. So I snatched that guy from there. Mm -hmm. And then he came and brought up this his idea of um, promoting African music, really. Oh, it was Music Fest? Oh, yes. And he called it Dance Africa. Yeah. And then we talked about it and we went into Go Gay Africa. Yeah. Mm -hmm. talk, talking about paying off, do, do you guys look at the music industry now and say, ah, ah if we we're doing it, we would have Bro, been stop. like the art. Uh -huh. Stop. Okay. <laughs> what we did is we added the culture. We never removed the music. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. great, great or the great. entertainment. Mm -hmm. We never did. Mm -hmm. It's always part of it. So, how is that going so far? How is it going? Mm. I would have this one question that I should have asked you. How how long we've been here for? You you can't. If you it's can, over, can, I'm can, not it's... asking you again. He got now, <laughs> now, how is it going? Mm. For you to survive as an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. not just in Africa, but in Nigeria for 25 years mm. means that it's going well. I like it that. It is going well. I like that. I like mm -hmm. that. So now let's you can pick one. Why? I haven't filled anything. No, I'm picking one soon. So I'll be filling this up, ladies and gentlemen. This is like me signing the dotted line. Okay. So signing the dotted lines that will be by the rules. So I forgot. Eh. And yeah. Mm. I did not set you up. This so, is wine and I will not wine. That's what's up. I'll be filling this up, ladies and gentlemen. We'll go on this quick break. I'll be back. <laughs> Mm 
Yes, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the seven of seven as we wander into the wanderlust life and times of Ineka Isaac Moses. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just discuss on the light on the fire. You know, I like. Yeah, to, yeah. Yeah, I, before, <laughs> I, I jump you. into my question, let's talk about Gogi Africa. Was it an easy road for you and your lovely husband as it was? And talk to us about the grilling efforts behind putting Gogi Africa, Nigeria's premier travel and culture TV show, on the screens of millions of Africa. And of course, it's been tagged fetish. You heard that regularly. Yes. Talk to us about that. Okay. Well, it's not an easy road. Okay. And I'm glad it's not an easy road because <laughs> it really kind of tested our resolve and our passion for what we're doing. So um, you want to know what was the problem? First problem is money. Second problem, money. Third problem, acceptance. Um, labeling it fetish gave us a job to do, hmm. to let people know that our culture is not fetish. Yeah that our culture is the essence of who we really are. And when you talk about culture, people just think of juju yes. or dance or old women, rickety women in the village. That's the way they put it. But your culture extends beyond that, even to your architecture, even the drinks, mm -hmm. even though this should have been power and wine. You know, <laughs> we'll and all of that. You will hear the last of it. Because you used to be wine. Well, am I whining okay. again? Yeah. OK. OK, Let me, should I ask my question now? My first question. What term is used to describe the strong desire or impulse to travel and explore the world, often associated with a deep curiosity and appreciation for experiencing new cultures and landscapes? Wow, that's a long one. And if I say it's wanderlust, if I say it's uh, adventure, if I say, you know, it's, I don't even know the answer and I do it all the time. What do you think it is? I don't know, I'm asking you. Hmm. Is it to experience? I don't know. You tell me. Is it tourism? You tell me. Eh, I don't know the answer, but I do it all the time. Eh, so you just drink? Because you don't have any answer. Because you have missed my question. Oh, what was your question? I forgot. You know I'm drunk already. Thank you gave you. me a full glass before Thank we started. You. What then? is used to describe the strong desire or impulse to travel and explore the world, often associated with a deep curiosity and appreciation for experiencing Adventure. new cultures. Adventure. And final answer. I know about final answer. Who taught you that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's adventure. Yeah, it's adventure okay. for me. Okay, you're wrong, by the way. It's good to be wrong because I've always wanted to drink. drink. Can I drink now? Yes. Even if I'm right, can I drink? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the idea to get you drunk. Mm. By the way, you no, know you when you finish it though. Then wait, let me. I'll I'll finish it. Zach, no, I'm doing this for you. I'll make sure I fail as much as possible. Power to the man. So men. that <laughs> when I get upset, <laughs> I won't be upset <laughs> and I won't be whining. Mm -hmm. But this is wine. Mm -hmm. I'll drown it for the love for you. Oh. So me, when I drink now, I don't even have a name to call. The, uh, yeah, the answer, the correct answer is Wanderlust. But that's the first thing I told you. What's your problem? Uh, you, I, 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 when you said it, I said, is that your final answer? You said Wanderlust, adventure, the stories. In. Just to let you know that this is for my husband. <laughs> wanderlust, the word Wanderlust as German mm -hmm. origins is composed of two German words, Wanden, which means to wander, and Lust, which translates to desire or pleasure. Thus, Wanderlust essentially means the desire to wander. The term has been adopted into English and is commonly used to describe strong impulse or longing to travel. And now you know on my up. behalf, mm -hmm. the glass is empty. Go to the back. My next question. Come forward, yes. Okay, let's now talk about the many years you built and deal without a child and the relief when the blessing came. You were mm -hmm. pregnant for four. You were pregnant after 14 years. Mm, it's not 13. 13 years of marriage. What I was pregnant before the marriage, yeah. before the cut wedding, yeah. I mean, cut and church wedding. Mm -hmm. Then after that, uh, something really bad happened to yeah. us with the pregnancy mm -hmm. at eight months and two weeks. And thereafter, we now had a long wait. Mm -hmm. So, so what was pregnancy tough for you? And do you wish at times during that period that Isaac was the one carrying the baby? When I was pregnant, mm. Haba, calm down now. <laughs> Something you waited for like 12 yeah. years plus, so and then you get it, the... and you start wishing that. Why would I wish for him to carry the baby? You're ready to go through the process yeah. even with everything. I enjoyed every moment of my pregnancy because Isaac was by my side 24 seven. So <laughs> let's talk about this. You must hear, you must have heard of the body tribe. 
a tribe in the northern eastern in the northeastern part of africa where the bigger the belly the more desirable a man you are basically the men with the biggest belly are most crazy isn't that interesting? <laughs> it's interesting for them. <laughs> now, your question, <laughs> which was retrieved off your Goge Africa blog. Which country is the Bodhi tribe located? I don't want to answer this because my eye is here. Even if I get it right, can I drink? Yes. Have you drank one? You've not asked me any questions. Anyway, Bodhi is from Ethiopia. We wanted to drink, man. Did I say I won't drink? Is that for me or is it for you? Okay. Final answer. Leave it there, even if it's not. Ethiopia. That's the right answer. Oh, now why? Why, Neka? Why did you get this right? Ha! And Isaac is waiting patiently. Don't worry, can I take a little bit? Yes, you're very correct. Zootopia, the Bodhi tribe, also known as the main tribe, is an ethnic group residing in the southern west um, part of Ethiopia, primarily in the lower Omo Valley. They are pastoralist and agriculturalist community known for their unique cultural practices, including their cattle-centric way of life and distinctive body modification. Who tradition. wants to go to Ethiopia to get themselves a man that is really big with big part belly? Because that's where money did. Yeah, your question. Pick up with me. My question now, nah, I forgot. <laughs> Ah. Let me ask you something you easily get. Okay, shoot. What is Zang better? E, e, e. Where are they found? What do they represent? Just tell me about Zang better and disenfranchise you. <laughs> no, you're my person. And you, know, and you know you can do this because you want to get me drunk now. What is Zang better? Meet me halfway. Zang better. Are you married? Mm. Babe, if you're watching and you're his girlfriend, I'm gonna get him drunk and he's gonna to propose to you tonight. You're talking to me. Courtesy of Neka Isaac Moses. You're talking to many ladies, by the way. Because no yeah. one. Oh, you're that type? Okay, Zang Beto, I don't know. So let me just drink. <laughs> okay, go ahead and drink. Let me see you drink. Zang Let me see you get down. Yeah, yeah. No, faster. Just, just go. Now, Zangbeto ah. is a masquerade you find in Benin Republic, around Porto Novo side. Mm -hmm. And Zangbeto, we also have them in Badagri because of that connection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, Zangbeto used to be like the policeman of the society. In fact, the fear of Zangbeto is still inside some Beninois. Mm -hmm. So for us in Africa, when you see masquerade and you say, hey, masquerade yeah. today, our masquerades entertain you. But before then, they don't just entertain, but they guard, they're like the guardians of the society. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now that's it for you. So, yeah, your next question. Do you yeah. want to take a second for the explanation? How? Your next question. All that I've told you, did you know it before? Before? Mm. I just wanted to drink. You think I don't know? You think it's only you that we, that we have fun drinking? Your next question. Okay. <laughs> okay, you should have said that because of the economy, Bobo cannot afford a drink. <laughs> so you now come to the studio, and pretend drink. not to know the question, and drink. so that you can have a drink. Do you like attending festivals? Do you even like masquerades? Let me, let me just scary. give you, let me, they're not scared. Let me give you a simple one. Okay. What's the name of the biggest masquerade in Africa? It's simple. You're my person now. If you don't get the answer, I will drink for you. Oh, I don't know the answer. Yeah. No, I'm, I'll still drink. Oh yeah, cheers to the biggest masquerade in Africa. That I don't know the masquerade's name. What's the name? Not even where it comes from. Okay, where it comes from. I don't know. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, drink. Yeah. Drink. In fact, I'm disappointed I'm not drinking. How dare you not know the name of the biggest masquerade? The biggest masquerade in Africa is. I don't know. Now, um, let's drink. I'll give you the answer when we drink. Bros, I know you know the answer. I just wanted to drink. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, drink you want to drink. Vidya. You have scammed me. Did you get the answer? Yeah, yeah, what's the answer? Guys, are you ready? Let's go. I see you. I know you know the answer. 
The biggest masquerade in Africa is called Ijele. Don't forget, the biggest masquerade in Africa is Ijele. Ijele. And the home of Ijele, don't you want to know the home of Ijele? Shoot! Hey, hey. Take another drink. How? I'm about to give you information you don't have. No, you are giving them. Won't you hear? I'm not. Or I put your hands in your ear. Both hands. The name, I've told them the name. The biggest masquerade in Africa is from my state. It's from my country. It's from my Africa, West African region. Mm -hmm. Ijele is from West Africa, Nigeria, Anambra state. That's the only place you see Ijele. And mind you, if you need to see Ijele, come to me. Mm -hmm. I take you to Ijele. Are you December done? is a good time. Let's do this together, y'all. Are you done? Okay, yeah, I'm done. Oh, okay, great. Did you hear what I said? Nope. Okay, let's, go. <laughs> let's go on a quick break and I'll be back to continue drinking right here. Hey! And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Eneka Isaac Moses still in the building right here on the 7 of 7. OJ is also in the building. Ignore whatever I said, but I just wanted to just start on here. Are you ready for my next question? No, I'm not ready, but I don't have a choice. Before. So you like animals, don't you? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. In fact, you like nature so much that a few years ago, you went on an adventure in Uganda through the impenetrable forest, searching for the silverback gorilla. Did you find them? Mm-hmm. You did? Oh, mm -hmm. wow. So what was Uganda like, by the way? What was it like? Plenty plantain. Okay. And they're a bit slow. The one that caught me is... <laughs> You know how the damfo here, you enter a bus. Yeah. In Uganda, when you enter a bus as a woman and you have load, put your load at the back, right? The, the conductor will take it from you. When he moves, when the driver moves and gets to your stop, yeah. the, the conductor will come down with you, bring your load from the boot, put it on his head, First. cross the road with you, put it down for you, and cross back and enter the bus, before they start, Before they start moving. And nobody's going to say, oh yeah, let's go now, what's up? No, we can't, we can't take that now. You're wasting my time. Now. You see the difference between Nigeria and Uganda? Let me ask my question now. I know you'll get this one. You see I know one? I won't get it. I don't even want to get it. Oh yeah, ask. Nigeria is referred to as the giant of Africa. Mm -hmm. What is Uganda referred to as? I know that their national bird is crested crane. And uh, Uganda is the pearl of Africa. What else do you want to know? Oh, is that your answer? What more? What would you want? Final answer. It's the pearl of Africa. You are wrong. But I really want to drink. You are wrong, so you can drink. Okay, thank you. So you need the answer now. Yes, which, which you know? No, I don't know the answer. Please tell me. Help. Okay. Uganda is referred to as the Pearl of Africa. I don't know why I'm asking these questions. Oh, yeah. Uganda I get is it often right. referred to as the Pearl of Africa, a phrase coined by Winston Churchill due to its stunning natural beauty, diverse landscape, and abundant wildlife. So, you know what we'll do now? For me, asking you a question that you know, eh? That I messed up. Let me drink your drink. Why are you taking my drink? Just drink first, I will tell you why I took yours. No, don't worry. Please. Let, Please. Let if you are my friend, kindly tell this guy to stop asking me any questions that I have a clue to. Because this drink's here is for Isaac's good. Don't you like the guy again? Should I drink any? Just drink, man. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Hey, God. My next question. Are you still asking? Yeah, it's two now. Yeah, yeah, there are two of us. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you live a life most can only dream of from night in exotic wrecks and uh, resorts to cruises on massive cruise ship. What is it like touring Europe in a cruise ship with your husband? Maybe? Hey, with my husband. That's, that's, my that's, question, no, but that's, the, that's it. Mm -hmm. With my husband. Hey, God. When you get to do, you do you. Mm -hmm. You do what you love. I love the life that I live. Mm -hmm. I love. No, I'm not. Don't sing. <laughs> Well, what is it like touring Europe on a cruise ship, especially during summer? You know, summer is very hot. Oh, yeah. And um, if you get on a cruise ship during summer, inside a cruise ship is another world. 
all together. Um, depending on the cruise ship, you can have as much as 20 to 25 or more dining options. Mm -hmm. The swimming pool, rock climbing, everything you do on land is right there on the cruise ship. And it's, it's a mini town. The last cruise we had, we had about, I think, 60-something nationalities on board. Mm -hmm. So the networking Those is like, world, you know, and um, the beautiful thing is that when I wake up every morning, take my bath with my husband, my son gets to go on, I think, the 15th floor or thereabouts. What floor, Seth? Where his own mates are. <laughs> and I won't see him till the evening. Day. Yeah. And then I'll start begging, where are you? <laughs> Do you understand? So he's doing his thing. They have their own movies. They have their own thing. We have our own thing. We even had Niger party on top of the cruise ship. <laughs> so uh, who is coming on the next cruise with me? <laughs> now, we, we, we checked your itinerary on that cruise and yeah. saw that the cruise made a stop at Santorini, a group of islands in Greece. You remember this, right? <sighs> yeah. Your question hasn't Now, come. my question. Oh, gosh. What kind of I <laughs> Don't do this. Well, we know you will not drink it. What kind of island... Is Santorini. I don't know what kind drink, of island man. it is. See, go, you're dropping it. Just drink. No, no, no. Just after I finish missing the question, then I'll drink. See. For me as a first timer, that was my first time of visiting okay. Santorini. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. The impression you get of Santorini as you come in, all the rooftops are white. Yeah. It's like yeah. So it's like this magnificent dot on the ocean, as if God just dropped it there for you to come and see. So I don't know what, honestly, I don't know what kind of island it is, but it's a fascinating one. Okay, great. Should I tell you what kind of island it is? No, no, just stop that. You don't know what kind of island it is. And Guys, do you want me to drink? Yeah, yes, yes. I didn't hear anything. It's only Isaac that is saying yes. And you know, I know there's a reason why you need to drink for him. See, you've done two. Uh, so meet me somewhere. Shebi, they say what a woman, no, what a man can do. A woman, a woman can, can do. do. Uh -huh. Whether I get it or not. Uh, please try. Yeah. You can tell them the answer. Okay. It's archipelago. It's a group of islands geologically young. And archipelago is a group of chains or chains of islands clustered closely together, typically in a body of water such as an ocean, sea, lake or river. The islands with an archipelago they vary in size and shape and can be formed through a variety of geological process, including volcanic activity, tectonic movements or erosion. You know what? Okay. I don't know what. Do you like Barbados? Yeah, that's where my boo is from. That's Robin Fancy. Rihanna. Oh, Rihanna? Yeah, that's my boo. And she told you about Barbados? Yeah. And I've been there. I've been there too, twice. Don't go ask me questions, I don't know. <laughs> I know you know the answer. Okay. Because I want to really help you. Please. But thank God you're not from worry. Thank God. Chibi, you're not from worry. Why people know they carry last? Yeah. Where is this going to? Tell me about a festival that is about fecundity. Fecundity? Huh. Fecundity? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I thought you said you want to ask me a question that's... Ah, I've given you clue. I've asked you Barbados. You talked about Rihanna. I gave you clue. I even talked about worry. I even talked about uh, okay, I didn't tell you about mm -hmm. you will get this. It's about water. It's a festival. Just the name is okay. Don't don't describe it before you go and form oh, it. What's the name of that festival? Any festival that you know. Okay, let me help you. Okay, let me give, let give me, me options. Okay. Okay, in Nigeria. Let me let's use the Nigerian one. Any festival in Nigeria that is about fecundity. That you know. Which is water related, Abi? Can, can you, Una, hold on. This, Take it from this side. This is unfair. Boats regatta. Drink, I can help you. I like you. 
You're not helping. You know I'm helping you. Mm -hmm. Isaac said that he actually likes you. And that when I get there, I, I should make sure you're happy. But you're not, you're making me drink. drink. first now, fecundity. Okay. Fecundity is a festival. Fecundity is not a festival. It's about Tell me water. the name of a festival that has to do with fecundity. Water festival. Okay. Water? Are you water boy? You drank. Put the glass down first. No, put it behind. Push all these ones forward. Yeah, shoot. What is it? Now, there's a festival in Nigeria that is about, when I say fecundity, when you come to that festival, sexual, e? lewd songs. It's in Nigeria? Yeah. Imitation of, when you come on the street, the woman is wearing something that shows the male organ. It's not Calabar. It's worse than that. Do you want to drink again no, before no, no, I continue? No, no, go on, go on. Go on. Hmm. Now, this festival is in Worry. You know, I asked you if you liked Worry. Hmm. It's called Awankere Festival. Awankere. Awankere is the Shekiri people. Shekiri, are you guys there? Abadere! Hey! So they, they wear skimpy things and. Whether you, you don't have to even wear skimpy things. The, the thing about this festival, we discovered it by accident. Okay. I mean, the true meaning of the festival by accident. They invited us those days. We went. And during this festival, that is the one day till the next day that any man or any woman is free to reach out to a woman or man of his choice. Whether you're married or single, it don't matter. Mm -hmm, yeah, he's in Nigeria here with you. It's a beautiful festival. Awankere uh, festival. Uh, Ask any Sheke babe. Tell her to meet you up at Awankere festival. It's going to go down. <sighs> I'm interested in this. Your next question, I need to... Your next question, I'm sorry. Drink I now. I, I, I don't drink already. No, this explanation, need drink. I beg drink. Is it me explaining it to his two people? So you think it's only me that will go for our Who was I looking at? Now? But they were listening to you. So we are plenty that will do our So you want another question? Yes. Your Should first, I still go back question. to Barbados? Yeah, if you can. Uh, you say Rihanna is your friend. She's my boo. Uh, what's the meaning of boo, I beg? My babe. Oh, you guys have been going out for a while. But well, we are keeping it low key. We are fighting now, by the way. She broke my heart, so let's just... <laughs> she did, right? <laughs> Rihanna broke my his heart. I pregnant for Issa Brokey. Two kids. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's distance, that's why. So, yeah, I yeah. know. I can yeah. imagine. But really, who founded... Who are the founding fathers of um, Barbados? That's London. Because London? I, yeah, the United Kingdom. Because oh. I know they just got their freedom recently. Yeah. Somehow. Yeah. Mm. So, the United Kingdom. Really? Is that your final answer? Let me sound like you. Listen, the founding fathers are from the UK. Could, could you hold this a bit? The founding fathers of Barbados are from the UK. This looks good on you. No, I should have taken a picture. It doesn't. They're from the UK. Mm. The Why are you putting it down? Because um, I, you show me there. You see, the founding fathers of Barbados, of Barbados are from the Bight of Benin. So Igbo slaves, no, they were shipped up to Gwangogo, if you don't know. But the person that told me is the ADC to the president of the Barbados. He, he happens to be a good friend. And I Google the founding fathers of Barbados. And that's why Nigeria, really, is visa on arrival. Yeah, mm -hmm. true, true. Visa is visa. Visa to Barbados is on so arrival. Yeah. Mm. Is that why? I have to help you here. Cheers to Barbados. Drink first now. You can't, you, your people here cannot relate at the agency. I couldn't relate at the time. <laughs> I couldn't. Can I help you now? Cheers. You're such a good sport. Put it behind. Can I ask a third question? Let's go on this quick break. Are you sure? You and know when, I like and when, you. And when we come back, there's no smiling on this face. Uh, please smile for me. No. 
No. What, tell me what to ask you that you have the answer. Like, who is the president of Nigeria? Okay, we'll go on this quick break. Then we'll talk about it. Let's go. Oh, oh, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, okay. Let's go. <laughs> And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. So we are good now, Abby. So you mm, ask me, of. you ask me questions that I will answer. But <laughs> you said Rihanna is your friend. You love Barbados. You, so what have I done wrong here? Hey, let's even go back to the ADC conversation that we were having um, um, during that question. Mm. So you felt when you saw all those things. Yeah. How did that make you feel as a Nigerian? Because the normal templates. An ADC in Nigeria probably has a PA that is opening the door for him. Or yes. Something. How does yes. that make you feel though? That's a culture shock for me now. I was like, e -e this is your house? He said, yes, yes, come in. He was proud of it. He said, I started building it two years ago. I know, I know my kids. It doesn't have to embezzle money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Do you want to teach him? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, people are who they are. Nigerians are who we are. <laughs> We believe that public office is a place to enrich yourself. Cash out. Yeah, you cash out. But for them, public service mm -hmm. is public service. So you remember you talked about um, Zangbeto before, and I told you I knew. Mm -hmm. But I just wanted to drink, mm -hmm. and I thought I was doing justice by drinking. Look at me now, fall down on my side. Mm -hmm. so now, Zangbeto translates to the Night Watchers in what? You see, I'm asking you a cheap question. It's not cheap. In what Benin language? It's not fun. It's... Okay, let's check and say, say, my friend. Just drink. Are um, you getting the, the question for? Are you came. getting the answer for me? Yeah? The answer just came, but I think it's the wrong answer. Oh, in what language? Mm. It's not watchy. It's not fun. Wait, you know Zangbeto? Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Zangbeto, we also have it. In Badagri. Mm -hmm. It has to be a Gun. It has to be a Gun. It has to be a Gun language. Because that, in fact, I, I keep asking myself, I need to do that research. The Zangbeto originates from Badagri, Badagri people or Bene. Or Bene. Bene. But they share a common language. Is it a Gun language? If they share Zangbeto, the name of Zangbeto should come from a Gun. Uh, give me Google, let me have, ask Google. But Google will not know these are cultural things. This is deep. So do you want to just drink? Whether I get it or not, we'll drink. You know you're my person. Take first. Yeah. Raise your glass. <laughs> Drown it. Uh, uh, for the that, fact, you know it's your question first. It's my question. That you missed. Oh, no, no. Drink it. You know, you know what's going down here. Okay. So my question is... Yeah, the language. You are correct, you are correct. Drink, now I'm correct. You are correct. So for me to even ask you that kind of question that you know, let me drink this. No, don't worry. I'm not that generous. Go ahead. Drinking wine. Okay, Casablanca is a city meant for pictures. You should see it. Have you? Yeah. Yeah, you should see it. Um, white buildings as far as the eyes can see. Ottoman architecture, vast lands. Morocco is a beautiful place and you've been there. Tell us about your experience there though. Morocco. Do you want me to shock you? Yeah, should. I've not been to Casablanca, but I've passed over. Oh, okay. That's the truth. Okay. I've passed over Casablanca, mm. like twice. In fact, last year. Why haven't you been there? That's shocking. It shouldn't shock you. Okay. I go to countries where they invite me. Oh, okay. And sometimes I choose where I need to go to because of one culture or the other. Mm. Okay. And uh, Morocco, yeah, I promised you I'll be there. Okay. Ask me your questions. Now your show will fail. Please. please. I don't trust you. If Ivory Coast has Cote d'Ivoire Air as its natural, natural, national carrier mm. and Kenya has Kenya Airways. Oh this is a very tough question. Are you going there? What is the national air carrier of Morocco? It, it, it can't be Air Morocco, right? <laughs> Final answer. Are you asking me or you're telling me or you, that's your answer? Which one do you want it to be? Oh, I'll be taking two this time. If I get the answer right, will you drink? Yes, yes, because I asked you a cheap question. You drink mine? Yeah. Emma Rock should take us to Casablanca. You, me, Isaac, and who is the babe? There are plenty. There are plenty. I told you. 
But I'll do, ski, I'll do audition. Do you like Emrak? Is that your final answer? Emrak. Okay, you're wrong. I'm glad I'm wrong, finally! Can I drink? Yes. Thank you. Take your glass too. Cheers now. You drink, you're wrong. I've heard. Can we do cheers no, it's now? A, it's your question. You have to do cheers. It's your question and you're wrong. Cheers. So, so you can drink. And the thing I like about you is that you don't lie. And your pastor knows that you don't lie. Mm. I like this guy, you. Hmm. Ah, but you're wrong, girl. I know I'm wrong. Tell you them know the why? answer. I want to drink two at a time. That's Royal. Why. Uh -huh. It's Royal uh, Morocco. Morocco. I should put the Royal before. Ha. Ha. See you. Royal Air Morocco is one of the oldest airlines in Africa, founded Wait, in 1957. It has Before been a pioneer in connecting Morocco and destination across oh, Africa, I add the Europe, Royal. Americas, and the Middle when East. When I'm talking to a common, I should add Royal. See if you can see. Ask me your question. <clears throat> you need a question now. Yes. Ah, yeah, have even forgotten what I want to ask you. Because the argument, you self. Ah, ah, too much argument. You ask me questions wait, today. Wait, 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 wait. There's something I'm noticing here. Put it down. <laughs> One, two, three, four rings. You're not even married. <laughs> yeah, See me that I'm married, no ring. Have I told you how I lost this ring? You lost it? I thought you did Have I even it. told you what happened first? How did you lose your ring? That's the question I need you to answer. No, that's my question. <laughs> you? See me, Mr. Chogu. You? Ah. How did Neka... <clears throat> How did Ambassador Neka Isaac Moses lose his, lose her wedding ring? And where? This was when you went to. That's my question. You asked yourself that question. Okay, let's scratch that. Okay, just just okay. let's know. One one. The drink part, whether half or quarter has passed. I I like to forgive you. No, I forgive. So that you can be forgiven. Yeah, hey, ask no more questions. Wait, let's talk Which about how did you how did you lose the ring? Me, yeah, I'm not telling you. Why? Drink one cup, I tell you. Very interesting question. Two things happened to this ring before we got to the stage we are now. And I'll make a public appeal. Those of you that know Isaac Moses know Ambassador Isaac Moses. <laughs> Those of you that know me. Drink, let me tell you quickly, you're wasting our time. Um, today? I'll call my I'll talk to my lawyers too. You think it's only that I have lawyers? <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. What do you want? Your question or how, how? I lost the ring? How, Which one? how you lost it and how you have decided to not wear another one again? Who told you I decided to You said so just now now. When? How you decided to just keep it bare? Okay. I didn't say how I decided okay. anything. Okay. You know what happened? Hey, when Bobo married me, I was, see me now, 27 years after marriage, I was lepacious, very lean. So the ring... <laughs> no fist. It entered at the time, <laughs> a few years later, maybe like mm, eight years. It yeah. took him that long to get me to stop wearing the ring because he wouldn't enter. And his own too. I worked on his, I disabled his <laughs> assist pack. So his own too wasn't going in. So he gave me his ring. I started wearing his ring. Oh. He stopped wearing rings because, you know. And each time he said, Nay, should I buy you a new ring? I said, buy me perfume. I'm like, I mean, this thing is just a symbol. It doesn't mean yeah. anything to me. Yeah. So, that his own wedding ring is the one that I've had since uh, 10 years after our marriage. Okay. So we went for, was in 2022, I think. Went on a cruise. <laughs> and we were in uh, Florida in a hotel. So, the next day, we we're going to check, check into the uh, cruise line. So in the evening, I went to take my bath. So I said, ah, this ring, Seth, every time you're here, let me remove you. And as I'm just pulling it like this, it fell just into the sink, and that is the end of that ring. And it was his ring. Mine was at home. Yeah. Still at home, but it can't, can't fit. fit again. So, why, so when that happened, I told him, you know, Isaac, he said, hmm. Okay, they said, no, let's go and tell the hotel people. They need to call the plumber to open it. So I said, ne, rap a fan. Do you know what that was? Ne, just forget that thing. You know, grab me close and say, are you with me because the ring is in your hand? I said, no. With or without the ring, will you still be with me? I said, yes. He said, forget the ring. Let's move forward. That's what's up. So, why, why, so now you don't want to even bother. You're just collecting perfume instead of him buying ring. 
so far, yeah. Okay, yeah. But you know what? Yeah. Since you have embarrassed me today. Hey, God. Please, this is a public appeal to Isaac Moses. Those of you that know him and admire him, tell him no more perfumes. I want another wedding ring. Okay. After all, 27 years of marriage. I deserve, in fact, tell him I want three rings in one. All of them. And yeah. the rock should be very big. Very big rock. <laughs> Straight from, is this South Africa? Where is the biggest rock from? Do they even have one in Nigeria? If I want the gold to come from Zamfara. Mm -hmm. You have entered one chance today. Okay, let me ask you one simple one. Hmm. No, I don't feel like doing that. What was the first country we visited when we started going to Africa? That's simple. I want to drink if you don't get it. It's if, I don't, if I don't get it, you will drink. Mm -hmm. If I don't get it, you will drink. But I will always drink. What's your problem? No, you have not been drinking. If I don't get it, you will drink. The first country you visited was... You have to get something right. Please. No, you said if I don't get it, you will drink. Whatever. Whichever way it goes, I'm on your page. You're my friend. Okay. It's the simplest question I can ever ask. Yeah. And if I don't get it, you will drink. The United you States. Get United States. So drink. Oh I, got, I got it wrong. Okay, now try and get it right. Um, I would say Bene, either Bene or Ghana. Give me options. Give me options. East Africa, even the America you talked about, and West Africa. So choose from the three. I don't want to put South because South. East Africa, West Africa. West Africa. And even the America you mentioned, just take your final answer. I just, I want to be lenient. You need to get one thing right. Hello? West Africa. Mm -hmm. Ghana. Okay. Drink. So I missed it. Yes, you missed it. Drink. So drink. And now, so, you know I will drink. Take this first. Let me look at your face through the glass. But you remember you said... Oh my God. This thing has a way of distorting your face. Take well, you remember you said if I get it wrong, you will drink. I gave you your final answer. I got it. We are both drinking. Go on, take your rest. I'm, I'm on. I'm on to it. Mm -hmm. Did I get it right? You got, got it, it wrong, wrong. Okay. But still drink, anyways. <laughs> the answer is Benin Republic. Why did drink. you throw me off? Why did you throw me off? Why? Why is it Benin? You're an honourable man. I'm not honourable again, no. Yeah, drink. Dr yeah, let's drink. Okay. Let's drink. Ah, okay. You're making me angry. Drink, Joe. But I said Benny. Please drink. <sighs> this is not looking good. It is. Okay, now I drink. Cheers. Just finish it. Yes, I will. Now let them know I'll finish everything. <laughs> this guy don't win me or oh, more. You alone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two more questions to go. You know what? I won't ask the questions. Your yeah, next question. I should ask you again. So you will not ask me any question. So um, you've asked we'll me go, a question. We'll go, wait, wait, we'll go on a quick break. Why did break. you ask? Now I'm angry. You said so. You will not ask me. We'll go on a quick question. break. Why should you say and that? when we come back, we'll be asking our final question. One from me and one from her. No. It's two here. Let's go. <laughs> Yes, we're back. Ambassador Maker <laughs> Isaac Moses in the building and OJ is in the building. Ignore whatever is on the table. Because I thought I was just playing a game with somebody that is nice, but apparently she's not nice. So, <gasps> one more question. Yes, one more question You're from my me. You're friend. No, we're not. And one more question from you. Do you want to go first or I should go no, first? No, you go now. Hmm. Because whatever you ask me, I'm going to make sure I fail. Because I need to drink. I mean, you guys brought me here so that you can finish all the drinks and I'll just be moping at you. This is wine. I'm not smiling. No, you shouldn't. Yeah. Because I'm your guest. I should be drinking, not you. My final question. How? As of this year, 2024. I failed. <laughs> what is the largest cruise ship called? Is it Quantum of the Sea? 
Is it um, mm. ah, is it icon of the sea? Is it quantum of the sea? Mm. Now, for this year we have icon of the seas. Next year, quantum is coming out. So I don't know which one I should present now. Ask the question again. What is the largest cruise ship for this year? <laughs> so there are no presently. Presently. And the one that is ready now that is icon of the seas. Let me just say with icon. I'm looking forward to quantum. Icon of the seas. Final answer. Why do you like this final answer thing? What's final about this? Can I drink now? Yes. Thank you. Wait. Um, whether I get it or not, I'm drinking. So. Oh, okay. So, but did I get it? Just. How do you know these things? Okay, because you are doing like a crew. Yes, yeah, icon of the sea. Oh my gosh, I, I got it again. Guys, help me. Why did I get it? But you said you would drink either you get it or not. Isaac, I'll drink for you. Yes, drink for him. He wants you to actually drink for him. Oh, I clap for me. I got it. Okay. <laughs> you are too competitive. Go on. Drink. <laughs> drink now. See what I'll do for you. <laughs> yeah, I'm listening. Hmm? What I'll do for you is I'm going to ask you something so simple. <laughs> You've been say, you, you, started, you started it with the number one question and it wasn't. This okay. one will be simple. And I thought I, I thought I was just doing justice by just drinking for questions that I know, but I didn't know I was setting myself up. Okay, so you will not drink now? I'll ask you this, this question. So you're not going to drink? Of course. I'm, I'm, you see, everything here must go down. On or off camera, it's going down. But on camera, you said even if you get Forget it camera wrong, people, it's just you and I. But you said if you get it wrong, all right, you would drink. Yes. And the icon okay. of the sea. Okay. I drank. I'm in trouble. Okay. okay. Your final question. You must get this right or else you become my enemy. I'm your enemy already, in case you don't know. Because I'm smiling. Okay. Oh yeah, what is Fuga? F O G E. Face of Goge Africa. I told you I was gonna be nice to you. Come on. Okay. Now so. <laughs> I'm not listening to you again. <laughs> but I told you There's I no question nice. again, no. But I told you I was gonna be yeah. nice to you. So so now don't now me. <laughs> we are done with Face of Goge Africa. The question is coming now. That's the, that's all. Yeah, who? Face of Goge Africa, that's it. You don't want to answer the question. You said what is Foga? F O G A. Good. Face of so Goge said, Africa, that's so all. I cannot hear you again. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Foga. See you. Mm. So, so that's all you want? That's all you asked. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. For even asking me that question, thinking I will not know. Drink. You know, eh, mm -hmm. as an African woman mm -hmm. who is from Nigeria, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we don't like to humiliate men. <laughs> it is not my portion. It is not my portion at all to come here and make you drink more than myself. All I did is that in my culture, women are not allowed to really drink. So if I had for any reason drank more glasses, Indianugu, my this, husband people will send me packing. Now play with the Indianugu. <laughs> they will send big, me. Big so I have to make it obvious to them that I'm not here to drink. That the actual drinker is you. But on the in other my, hand, in my in my culture. Mm. Okay, there's no culture. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I just drink. Yeah. Okay, let's do this together. Let's I'm not doing anything with you. What do you expect? Now. Wow, why they form my hand like this? I don't know. Uh, we are done. Are you sure? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of this session right here on 7 of 7. But that's not all. Okay. Yeah, we are done with the seven questions. Okay. As usual, the tradition right here is to check your severity before we let you go. Call it the walk of shame and you won't be wrong. We are doing the tongue twister. I promise to fail. 
You've been saying that. <laughs> you know New York, you need New York. You know you need unique New York. You know New... I should start. You, you know say, New you York, say, I didn't you, even hear. You say it five times fast. Oh, Jesus. You know New York, you need New York. You know you need unique New York. You know you need... <laughs> I have failed. Yes. Something wrong with your hand? I'm just letting you know. Why is it stretching like you are you, you are getting should, a seizure? Yeah, you should drink. What? You know New York? You know you know New York? What a, something about unique. I can't even remember. You know Write it so I can read it. You should have known how to do this game. You should have asked me. You, you don't know New me. York. Why you should have You done? need you New write. York. Uh -huh, you give me I'll read you it. You know out you to need you. unique New York. You might know New York. Or you know New York, and you know you need unique New York, yeah. and all of that. But if you don't write it down for your guest, then you're a bad person. Do, do I look like somebody that is nice? Yes. No, I, I'm not That's nice. why some girls are still after you. If only they know a little bit of what I know. You cannot get to me. So you are not going to give me my Why are you having a seizure? What's wrong with your you're hand? Not give, <laughs> you're not going to give my What's tongue twister. <laughs> you're not going to give my tongue twister five times fast. <laughs> you know New York, you need New York, you know you need unique New York. Five times fast. Uh, let me tell you Go. something. As um, an African person... She's going there again. I'm not going there. I'm there. I'm actually there. In India, I cannot be India in no good. They don't do... I cannot be in Africa and be speaking English and trying to do tongue twisting with an English language that... Let me give you a proper one that both of us can try our hands on. Oh yeah, drink first for not getting this one. Then we told you. How can you say I didn't get something and you didn't try? You didn't try. You did. You did try. You did try. You did. You said it twice. You did try. You didn't try. You did at the beginning and you messed it up. Chineke. You did at the beginning. Olodu Mare. Ubangiji Allah. What yo? You did at the beginning and you messed it up. We are drink for that. You will not drink. I'll finish this. They're all for me. In fact, let me start with yours. Hey, God. Let me protect this drink. Hey! <laughs> so that... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give us, give, us, give us something culture. Right? Give us a tongue twister. Mm. Na jeki dambo goro. Goro goin bisa basa. Dan etim salin hodo. Hodo ngi damba laji. What does this mean? That is how, sir. What does it mean? Why in error, really? In error, really? Can it your lady? Why in error, really? In error, really? Can it your lady? Why are you not giving me the meaning of all these things? If you abuse me now, the last one mm -hmm. is saying that you woman that sell the lap of uh, or uh, of um, a chicken, mm -hmm. are you selling it or are you eating it? Ladies and gentlemen, we are done right here on this session of seven of seven. Ignore whatever you see on the table. Yeah. Ignore whatever you see on this table. Well, <laughs> let's talk about Google Africa now, face of Google Africa and what you have planned. I heard you're going for, there's a cruise happening ah, soon. Gosh. Talk to us about this. Okay, first of all is in 1999, Google Africa mm -hmm. came to be. Mm -hmm. And this year, 2024. Oh yeah. my God, 2024, we are 25 years. That's amazing. And because we're 25 years, we have celebration all through the year, starting with the Face of Gogi Africa. So Face of Gogi Africa is given a platform, a global platform for young Africans and Africans in diaspora mm. to compete. And we're not looking for, it's not like that kind of beauty contest where you come and wear your bikinis yeah. and you have to be lean <laughs> like the way the western beauty has to be you understand but we're looking for bold creative africans both male and female mm. who will come on that stage showcase what they have mesmerize you and i mm. and take that crown so um we're gonna have five winners in october muriel collab pack this march 20 third mm -hmm. but before then people are registering right now online i think you should register as well because tvc is our partner mm -hmm. and after that we also have the tourism training you see um if i had the training that we have been giving to younger ones these days um my job and isaac's job would have been easier so when we got to the level where we got to we felt that what did we lack Let's make sure those coming yeah. after us 
don't lack that. So we have our tourism training, which is usually free for young people, but we have to go get the money from somewhere <laughs> and then make sure um, we deliver. So the tourism training is on. And of course, there's the Goge Africa Conference and Award mm. Evening. Now, the awards is actually to, you know, we have a lot of tra travel bloggers these yeah. days. Yeah. Vloggers and bloggers. Does and that make you proud? What are you talking yeah. about? On the 6th, precisely of uh, January last year, I was on my way back from the East. I went for some coverage. And people were calling me, you're trending on Twitter, you're trending on Twitter. I'm like, what did I do? Somebody just said, oh, do you remember that couple? Go you know, Africa. Go Gay Africa. I saw, I saw you saw that, that right? I saw, I saw uh, they are the real OGs of Tourism, travel. Yeah. And, uh, so what is OGs anyway? Old guy. Like old guy, old guy like old guy, old guy. the so ancestors, the ancestors, <laughs> you know, like the grandfathers of tourism. So I saw that, and the thing was like, like oh my god. But the biggest success for me as a person is the fact that I see younger people who feel proud to showcase their backyard. Okay, to showcase that Ogunike cave, mm. that Oshoshogo groove. Before, you know how people now, mm. ah, you go and take pictures on the streets of London. I'm mm. in London. Mm -hmm. Or mm -hmm. New York mm -hmm. and Paris. But today, it's content. Young Africans are giving me the content that is blowing my mind. So these young Africans, 25 of them, will be receiving the Gugge Africa Award. Mm. You know, we've never done an award show. We are not one for giving awards. Yeah. Or, you know, I, I see how they dish it out <laughs> like pure water. <laughs> but this award is coming after 25 years. Amazing. A lot has been put into it. And the committee are people chosen from across Africa to be able to select those people that are really doing Africa proud in that space. I like that. So I that's like what that. that is about. Like that. And you want to know that the conference theme is peace, tourism, culture creativity I like that I like mm? that amazing 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 work here don't let doing. me talk to you about the big one the, the big one the, the, no, 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 the cruise is coming okay, a big we have one, we have we have the summer cruise okay we're going for a summer cruise we're taking Africa to Europe on that cruise ship from dressing to food to the content and to the people because there will be a small seminar right on that cruise mm. and all we're selling is Africa, Africa to the world. We thought about it because when we discovered that, I mean, 60 something nationalities mm -hmm. in one place, what I better way it, yeah. to sell Africa? So we're selling Africa on that cruise this summer and we're getting to Santorini as well. Mm -hmm. And uh, in, in November, we're taking Africa to the Caribbean from US to the Caribbean, okay? Mm -hmm. But in between all of this, for me, the icing on the cake is, do you know Gogi Africa started in Surulere? Mm -mm. It started in Surulere. So we're coming home to roost. Ooh. You see that stadium? That Teslim Balogu yeah. Stadium? Lagos State, thank you for giving Gogi Africa the opportunity to thrive. So we're shutting down the stadium this That's October. That's amazing. That's okay. Amazing. Thank you very much, Ambassador Ineka, Isaac Moses. Yes, my prince. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> and we wish you the very best Thank with everything you. you're doing and alongside Thank your husband. You. Wish you the very you. best. Just holler at us and let us cruise, cruise around. We're the cruising together. together with TVC. But first, we'll be going to Ishakiri. The uh, Awanke. Ah, Awan you're coming Kiri. for Awankere this the, year. Before before i got you and that's the show ladies and gentlemen this <laughs> evening and we hope you enjoyed every bit of it join us again next time as we drink right here on the seven of seven my name is oj cheers okay yes like i always say do not drink and drive or mm. else you might spill your drink yeah and good stop night. whining when you take wine mm, good night mm, mm. drink one more drink it okay we're done good night <laughs>